been like such a primary focus because I've been competing since I was a kid. Um, and then I was kind of just getting like, uh, I guess like burnout from it almost like competing in it, like just wasn't giving me the same like thrill as it used to. Um, so that's when I wanted to start doing MMA. And then, um, the problem was with MMA was I had my first amateur fight in 2017, but trying to get an amateur fight when I had a big jujitsu background, like girls would like look me up and then see my jujitsu background. They would just want to fight me. Yeah. So I had two amateur fights before I went pro in August, um, 2017 and 2019. And then um, my pro fight was just in August. It and was great. Yeah, that was pretty cool too, right? Yeah. Man, <laughs> you're a scrapper, girl. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about that? The PFL oh, yeah, fight? Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, for sure. um, so I was actually winning on my feet on that first round, like technically, like uh, with, with like the punch count and landing and stuff like that. Um, and then just one punch just caught me, right, huh? yep, caught me on the chin and, um, it didn't knock me out in per se. Like I was still there fully aware. It was just my legs turned off. So having that feeling of your legs turned off is wild. I was yeah. the craziest feeling I've ever felt. Um, and then when she charged into me, I got, was able to get the single leg and then take her down, take her back and get the rear naked choke in. You, um, you stay so composed. You got yeah. that takedown. How, well, how do you, do you train for that? What is that? Um, I just think it's from competing for so long. So I started competing when I was 11. Mm -hmm. um, so nothing rocks my boat too much. Like even in real life situations, I don't get my, like, uh, like I don't get all like uh, worked up. Mm -hmm. um, so I just think it's like years of competition and just being put in bad situations. Like I always tell everyone when I was younger, my dad would put me in tournaments, but then he would sign me up for like, my weight class and age group and then he would put me in the next uh weight bracket up and then he put me in the next weight bracket and age age group up and then put me in the women's division when i was like 13 so i would do like nine ten divisions in one day when most people do two divisions yeah and i would just go from one match to the next match to the next match like no break in between I, and then one day i was just getting my like butt kicked by all these boys and then my last match they're like oh we have a girl for you she's like 13 your age i'm like ready to cry because i just got, <laughs> got beat so bad yeah and they, they look at my dad the ref and goes are you gonna make her do this one and my dad was like she can do whatever she wants and then walked away and i was like uh, <laughs> i guess i'm doing this one yeah uh, and then i went out there and broke the girl's arm <laughs> there you go so <laughs> yeah Sometimes we learn like, through that adversity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's just so yeah. I think it's just like the experience of just competing.